Well, it's that time of year. The European seasons are ending, so that means it's time for some classic Serie clickbait of 25 Challenge Europe players you have to buy over the summer. And that's not a criticism, by the way. I'm a big fan of clickbait. You can see for yourself if you check out my channel. And I did seriously ponder doing an in-depth scouting series for European players over the summer. In fact, a few months back, I actually did a scouting series for the MLS that did pretty well. Some of my most viewed videos, in fact, and everyone I mentioned in those videos went up in value. Because everyone went up in value. That's just economics, supply and demand, the theory of evolution and all of that. Basically, what I'm trying to say is if you buy European players at this time of year, you can't really go wrong. So I woke up one morning, looked myself in the mirror and said, Roy Olivier, today is the day you make an in-depth European scouting series of players to buy over the summer. Uh, that sounds like a lot of hard work. How long will each video be and how many videos? I anticipate it being a six video series at 15 minutes each segment. What do you say? No. I thought, you know what, I could make a whole fucking series out of this and make a big song and dance out of the players I'm purchasing, but let's be fair, there's smarter YouTubers out there than me, and, you know, they're just better than me in every way. I may be a prick, but I'm an honest one. And a humble one. And a handsome one. And the big long serious videos aren't really my style these days, so you know what, in classic Royal Levy fashion, here are 25 Challenger Europe players I'm looking at buying during the dip for a bargain this summer. <sighs> This guy, this guy, this guy, not this guy, he sucks. This guy, is Ian Fleming, you know, providing Virginia Sitar to stay up. Douglas Santos, I mean he's expensive, but for his scores his price is the definition of a bargain. This guy, uh, this guy, Wesley Hote, contracted for three more years with some great all around scores at a top pro league team. Uh, this guy, probably. Oh, and you better all go and grab yourself a Rennie Sweet to go and go for your gas teams as well. I know, I know, I have a rager for TSV Heartbreak, but I mean for his price he is legit one of the best priced goalkeeper options out there, he really is. Uh, this guy looks decent. Norio Fortuna, really cheap at the moment and rightfully so, but I think he could turn his Fortunas around next season. <laughs> this guy for your under 23 teams, his number one competition in that has just been released. See, I do actually have a useful nugget of information hidden in this clusterfuck of a video. Mislav Orsic, actually ridiculously priced right now. I mean, I'm serious, go and check him out. His scores are pretty damn good. And he plays in the Croatian League, which is probably one of the least competitive challenger leagues out there in So5 at the moment. I hope my Croatian fanbase can forgive me for saying this. Edson Alvarez, providing all of the better Ajax midfielders fuck off this summer. This guy looks like a great budget option for threshold teams. This guy, if there's anyone you get from this video do make it this guy actually I think he's fantastic value right now. Okanaden, yes, yes I know it's another Hartbrook player and Hartbrook are shit at football but this guy costs less than one week of 250 points in gas for for fuck's sake and he's gonna be a focal point of Hartbrook's attack next season mark my words so do not sleep on Aiden. This guy, he actually gets some banging all around scores for under 0.1 Ethereum. Everton? <laughs> no, no, not the soon to be relegated Premiership team, silly. The Benfica player, especially if Nunes leaves. It's Everton's time to shine next season. Again, the player, not the team. The team's shit. But on the same team, Benfica, not Everton, Grimaldo. His price is genuinely a bargain right now if he stays at Benfica next season. Jasic, 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 great bargain player for under 23 squads. This guy, and of course, Sugawara, the best player in the world. I mean, look at his price graph. You could surf on that shit, and you best believe that wave will be back next season, baby. Whew, okay, there we go. Aren't you all glad you got my dog shit opinion condensed down into five minutes instead of an hour and a half? Think of all the time I've saved you, and with that extra time you now have, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button for more top tier server content, and I will catch you next time.